you're going to need some courage. You're going to need courage. We talked about crossing over. You're going to need courage. Welcome back to Profiting Diary. My name is Tiny. If you're not already a subscriber of this channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Everything you need to know about Profiting Diary is down in the description box. How to give, how to sign up for that one-on-one -on -one encouraging coaching call with myself. All the different services that are available on keywinnesses.com are here. Check out the new website design. I also have some new services, as you guys can see that you can sign up for. We have the 15-minute strategy coaching call. This is when you're in a rut. This is when you're a little confused. This is when you just need some direction. Sign up. Also, PD Society Circle here. PD Society Circle page. This is where you can get the playbacks. But also, I want to see you there Sunday in the PD Society Circle. We're going to talk about your anointing, how to activate it, how to thrive in it. Elijah said, I want a double portion of your anointing. He didn't ask for riches. He didn't ask for gold. He wanted that anointing. You'll be surprised all the powers you have for just an anointing. The things that you can get done without money when you have an anointing and a calling on your life. Single and ready series. It's creeping up on us. I want to see you there. Are you really ready for the dating scene? Do you know who your you know, spouse is? If so, are you guys walking in it? Is he walking in it? What is the purpose of that marriage? Sign up for the Single and Ready series. The Lord gave me this word for you actually earlier this morning. I have not been able to release the word because not only I had coaching calls today, but of the amount of attacks I have experienced in trying to release these words. And you know here at Prophet Diary, we do not glorify attacks. I had to get my prayer my prayer sister on a um on a call and I was able to get through it, tear them attacks up tear saying butt up like we do here at Prophet Diary so that I'll be able to release this word for you and here it is no weapon form against us here at Prophet Diary show prosper you guys kind of know um, I remember the other night on my live when I were mentioned Joshua and Moses dying right so God brought me back to this and I knew he was because I felt it in my spirit then about Joshua's courage, right? And in Joshua 1, it reads, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses, my servant is dead. Now then will you and all the people go across the Jordan? There's a going across again. I'm telling you here at Prophetic Diary, we are going across. And I'm going to talk tonight in my live at 7 p.m., maybe sooner. Just look out for that about the crossing over, about the going into the new. He says, get ready to cross over into the river, into the land I'm about to give to you. Someone says the land he's about to give to me. He gave Joshua, the, Joshua this word, but now I'm giving it to you. The land that I'm going to give to you. There's something for you. He says to the Israelites, I will give you every place where you set your foot. As I promised Moses, your territory will extend from the desert of Lebanon and the great river of the Euphrates. And this part right here, and I'm going to give you the word that God gave me regarding the scripture. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous. Because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to your ancestors. So real quick before I get into the word, we have a promise um, that Moses had over him of leading the people in. That promise, that mantle has been transferred on, that anointing now has been transferred on to our brother Joshua I know a lot of you can say, Tiny, that's an easy job, or he's seen Moses do it, so he should have the courage enough to do it. That was no easy job, and I want to just let someone know that I know that you're about to start a new job. I know that you're entering into a new relationship with a man that's a little better, right? He's not a Boaz. He's not a Bobo. He's a Boaz, and that can be very intimidating, right? There's a lot of uncertainty around this relationship where doubt can creep in. Am I suitable enough for this job? 
Am I going to be the helpmate or help meet that this man needs? I feel intimidated. I'm not used to fine dining and taking trips to the other side of the world and eating at tables with white tablecloths and having conversations with politicians and the elects of the world, right? Somebody say, I'm going higher. Oh, somebody say, she talking my talk. Some of you are going into some rooms where you might feel uncomfortable and you may feel intimidated. This word ain't for everybody, but it's definitely for somebody actually tracing your um, coming to mind as I give this word. But God is asking you to relax. God is asking you to relax just like he was asking Joshua to take courage. God is asking you to take courage because you may feel intimidated. You may feel like, you know, someone that, you know, is stepping into a, a new position or um, stepping into um, like Joshua, some shoes that may seem too big to fill. Right? There's nothing wrong with feeling intimidated. There's nothing wrong with saying, woo, but you got to find that inner strength. And that's what courage is. You got to find that power. That's why we're talking about anointing because you're anointed for this marriage, anointed to be this man's wife. We're talking about that this Sunday in the PD Society Circle because you got to know that power within you to survive. Right? You can't have that self preservation. I mean, that self doubt. You got to have self preservation where you can, you know, overcome that. So it's like if your boss goes on vacation and your boss asks you to sit in for her or him and you're like, whoa, 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 I don't know. This may be too much. God may be setting you up and preparing you for something better. As God says, I am asking you to step up to the plate, Joshua, and take courage in this relationship and take courage on this job and take courage in the entrepreneurship take courage. And also, once you do that, I need you to relax because I'm going to be with you like I was with Moses. And I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna lead, allow you and give you the strength and the tools and the knowledge and the wisdom to be able to lead more people, right? To heal more people and change people once they see your leading, Joshua. I just need you to take courage and I'll do any, everything else. I just need you to say yes to that relationship, even though it's intimidating and everything else will follow. Family, this is a word for someone. I know that it bless you. If you feel get led to give unto God. Hashtag take courage. Some things are headed your way. I'll see you guys on the live a little later. Share this video. Like this video. Keywinnesses.com. Sign up for that one-on-one -on -one coaching call. Love you guys. Bye-bye.